Hi everyone, this is my attempt to do a small tutorial for the VI or Vim text editor. VI is an old uh, Unix textile uh, uh, editor which is a bit difficult to use and not very user friendly. But it is powerful and it is available on every every Unix Linux system, old and new. So whatever machine you have to connect to, if you know a bit of VI, you always have an editor you can use. So let's begin by starting VI, do a simple edit and quit. To start VI, I just have to type VI and the name of the file. If it doesn't exist, a VI would create it for us. So from now on if I try to type something it will probably mess up and you will hate VI because the first thing to know is that there are two modes. You have the insert mode, the mode in which you type some stuff and the command mode in which, for instance, you issue commands such as quit, save, search, replace, and so on. So to go in insert mode, I have to type I, and I can press escape to go back to command mode. By default, the editor is in command mode, so I have to press I. And now I'm in insert mode, and I can type some text. Now, the second difficult thing to do with VI is to quit. So let me show you uh, the first way to quit by saving what I've just done. So I have to switch to command mode, I press escape, and the command to write and quit is colon W Q. So that's it, I out, I'm out of VI. If I edit the file again, I can see I have my reason, results, uh, my, uh, the text I typed here. Um, so let's add some more stuff and so let's go at the end of the file, press I and type some goofy stuff so I can demonstrate how to quit without saving. So let's go to command mode by pressing escape and the command to quit without saving is colon Q exclamation mark. I'm out of the eye, let's run it again and verify that I don't have the goofy stuff, uh, stuff I just typed. So here are the commands I used. Uh, write quit or quit exclamation mark. The normal quit would issue a warning in case you just modified something. Now let's learn how to move inside the file, copy paste and do some search and replace. Um, in recent version of the editor of course you can move the with the arrow keys and the page up, page down uh, key. You can also go directly to a line by, uh, in command mode, pressing, well, let's make sure we, have, we are in command mode, press escape, colon, and a line number. For instance, one, I'm at the beginning of the file. You can also use the special dollar uh, sign to tell the end of the file. You can also move inside the line uh, without the, the, the colon. If you type just dollar, you will be at the end of the line, and the hat sign at the beginning of the line. So these are, this is a summary of the, the command I just used. Now how to uh, delete and cut and copy paste. I can use the yy command to copy the current line or dd to cut it or delete and the p command to paste the result. So for instance, let's move at the first line, do a YY. Now I have the first line in the buffer. I can move at the end of the file, for instance, and press P and paste the result. For instance, uh, let's uh, cut uh, that line. Uh, so it's DD to delete it. And I can paste it with P at the end of the file, for instance. I can also multiply to um, copy a block of lines. For instance, if I want to copy three lines, I can type three yy and then paste the result. You can uh, multiply a lot of commands. Uh, for instance, I can also multiply the paste command. Let me show you that. So for instance, I want to copy the three first line. I can type three yy and with p at the end of the line, I just pasted the three lines. I can also paste the result again, let's say three times, 3p, and that's it. 
Another useful command is uh, J, uppercase J, to join line. For instance, here if I press J, I can also multiply that command. For instance, I can uh, type 5 uppercase J and I just uh, um, join uh, 5 lines. Here is the command to search, so it's slash and the token I want to search for. By using N, I can then go to the next occurrence. Let me demonstrate that. So let's search for uh, sum. Uh, I have to be in command mode, so escape, slash, sum. I can see the cursor is at the first sum uh, word. I can press N and go to all the occurrences. I have a message when I hit the end of the file and I'm starting at the beginning again. Um, I can also search in the reverse order by using the question mark. So if I type question mark um, sum and then next I can just search the other way around. Here is a command to do some search and replace. It's a bit complex but powerful. Uh, I start with the colon, then I have to define the scope in which I want to do that operation here from line 1 to the end of the file. The S uh, command is for search and replace, slash, then what I'm looking for, for instance fill in lowercase, slash again, what I want it to be replaced with, here uh, would be fill in uppercase, and again slash to finish the command. Let me demonstrate that. Here, let's say I want to replace sum with any in the whole file. So I have to be in command mode. I type uh, colon 1, comma dollar to do uh, in the whole file, search for sum, and replace with any, in uppercase, why not? And that's it. But notice that the operation has been done only once per line. Here I can see that I still have some which wasn't replaced because there, are, there were two in, in that line. Um, so you can modify that with an option which is uh, G option which means global. So if I issue that command it would replace every occurrence uh, even multiple times per line. Another useful option is the I option which tells to do the search uh, case insensitive. In the I of course I can undo or repeat the operations and do some other stuff. So to undo it's U and dot to repeat whatever you just uh, did for modification. For instance if I want to delete that line I can undo it or if I delete again and I press dot it will repeat the operation. Um, a useful command is change word. Let me demonstrate that with the search and, and with the search. For instance, if I want to modify the any uh, keyword, um, I can search for any. Then I want to change that word. I type C W, and then I see the any uh, word disappear, and I can replace it with whatever I want, and press the escape key to end. Then I can press the N key to repeat the search to the next occurrence and press the dot key again to repeat the modification operation N dot N done. So that's a handy way to repeat some search and replace operation and verify by the way if everything is going uh, as I, I want to. Two other useful uh, commands to edit quickly is uh, lowercase x to delete backwards and the uppercase A to insert something at the end of the line. For instance, here I can delete some text the other way around. And if I start with the long line and I want to insert directly at the end, instead of moving manually and typing I, I can just type uh, uppercase A and append something.